hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I'm the nurse flipper I am a full-time reseller on eBay so if you're wondering what selling on eBay these Monday videos are great I will show you everything I sold whether it was three dollars or three hundred dollars we don't have anything that expensive going out today unfortunately but we do have a lot of items going out we have a total of close to 60 items going out between eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I'm going to show you all of them. We have $1,350 going out on eBay, as well as almost 200 on Poshmark and about 30 on Mercari. We did not have any Etsy sales this weekend, so I'm excited to show you what sold. Right, so first up is something that I got in a boxy charm box so I get boxy charm it's like a makeup subscription box and most of the time I'll like about two out of the five items and I actually end up making money or getting those two items for free because I sell the other ones and this is one of those so this is an Avant volcanic purifying anti-oxidizing cleansing gel this one sold for nine dollars plus the buyer paid six in shipping I pay about $25 a month for the box, so I'm about $5 in, so it's only about a $2 or $3 profit, but that goes towards me getting the two items that I like to keep for free. Next is a pen that was in my Harley lot. It is not actually a Harley pen, though. This is a 2008 Chief Blackhawk, Blackhawk Chapter Davenport, Iowa. This one sold for $6. I paid a dollar. It's about a 4 dollar profit that one took about three months to sell forgot to tell you the avant cleansing gel only took about a week to sell so it sold really fast next is a little teacup so this is by concord china it's a dimitas so it's a small teacup make sure you put that in your title i just refunded a buyer that bought a dimitas cup i didn't have dimitas in the title though i did have a picture with the measuring tape and they went off on me were super nasty to me i refunded them told them do what they want with it and what i didn't tell them is i blocked them and they will never buy from me again i just didn't feel like dealing with the return i just refunded their money and i am done with it so sometimes in business the easiest thing to do is refund them count it as a loss and let it go so this little teacup sold for $13.98 I paid about five so it's about a five dollar profit after fees and it took about four months to sell all right this next one is a good sale I love little art pieces this one here has got the little girl playing the harp beautiful beautiful vintage frame and photo it's under glass I'm having to tilt it there this is by JL Austin company this one's actually a print from 1893 it is a reprint but if you look at the back there it definitely is a vintage piece this one I paid about five for and it sold for $34.99 making it about a $25 profit and it sold in under two months the buyer did pay 16 for shipping because once this is packed it will be over a pound so it will ship at a two pound rate and the buyer is probably on the west coast that's why shipping was so high and then we have a license plates there are a license plate there are going to be a lot of them that you will see in this video this one here is 1957 new york i did put empire state that you see down there on the bottom this one sold for 25 dollars. i am less than a dollar in making this one close to a 20 dollar profit the buyer did pay six in shipping and this one sold in under a month and then we have another harley pen the harley pens have been listed about four some of them a little over four months i bought 600 just to remind you I paid about a dollar each ton of them sold fast but we still have hundreds of them left so this one here sold for $13.98 plus the buyer paid five in shipping so it's going to be about a ten dollar profit after fees this next one is super super cute i really love this i really thought about keeping it it's a little turtle coming out of the egg it is a trinket box super cute it's got the magnifier there really really cute this one i paid less than five in a trinket box lot and it sold for 18.88 and under two months making it about a ten dollar profit 
And then this little honey jar took about a year to sell. It's really cute. I got it in a lot and I thought it would sell faster. I really did. It's got the honey dripping down. It does have some crazing, the cracking throughout. It says honey. There you can see the crazing a little bit better. That's what those cracks in the glaze are called. So only a few dollars in. It does have the original honey stick there. Never used. This one sold for $15 plus the buyer paid $11.75 in shipping. So it is going to be about a $10 profit. But again, it took about a year to sell. Up next is a set of pillowcases. If you are not looking at pillowcases, I would suggest you start. I only paid a couple of dollars for these. They do have upside down, <laughs> have poppy flowers on one side. The other side is striped. And with these, the tag is on the inside. So you do have to turn the pillowcases inside out if you're at the thrift trying to find the name. And these are spring made. And I have a set of two of them. Again, paid less than $2. They sold for $30 in about three months. And the buyer did pay six in shipping. So they are going to be about a $25 profit. And then we have another license plate. This one is Kansas. This one from 1987 sold for $8. So it's about a $5 profit after fees. And it sold in under a month. All right, these next ones I was kind of on the fence about listing. But I'm glad I did because they sold really fast. They sold in under a month. These are actually just, they're KitchenAid scissors. KitchenAid, they were in a buyout. I got a bunch of kitchen stuff. And these sold for $5.50. I'm less than a dollar in. They're only about a $3 profit. But they sold really fast and they will be super easy to ship. Up next, another license plate. This one is a 1986 Virginia. This one sold for $13.98 plus the buyer paid six in shipping. So it is going to be about a $10 profit. And then we sold this really pretty sterling silver ring here. It's kind of got like a basket, basket weave on it. This one sold for $20.81. I paid about two or three dollars for it so it is going to be about a $13 profit and it took about three to four months to sell. Next, another license plate. This one is Land of Lincoln. This one is from 1975. It sold for 12, so it's gonna be about a $9 profit. All of the license plates have been listed less than a month. So they are selling fast, but keep in mind, I have a thousand of them. So if you go put a few plates up, I wouldn't expect them to sell very fast unless they're a super popular or rare tag. It might take a little bit longer to sell. And then this one was a little better one. This is a vintage 1965 Georgia peach state. This one sold for $27.99. Buyer paid six in shipping. This one's going to be about a $23 profit. This one sold really fast. This one sold in under a week. So some are selling a little bit faster, but we are having license plates go out every day. Next is another good sale in this buyer has bought a lot of ornaments from me so they're definitely watching my store i still have hundreds of ornaments i need to get listed i did i will tell on myself now i did break my no sourcing streak it's been close to two months i really wanted to get some high dollar items in to mix because most of the stuff that's going out is kind of bread and butter you know 10 15 20 maybe 30 dollars and so i bought a lot <laughs> i bought i believe it's 33 lots over 100 items that are almost all high dollar i will probably be picking that up at the end of this week and i will definitely do a haul video to share with you so this ornament is a little hand-blown glass puppy dog really cute little stockings there and her little striped dress she sold for $31.49 I'm about a dollar to two in so she's about a $25 profit and she sold in under a month all right next is some more my eye is driving me crazy I just rubbed it so if it's red it's red because I rubbed it um <laughs> I wear my glasses most of the time now so when I wear my contacts my eyeballs don't like me very much so if you wonder why my eyes red that's why and <laughs> this is two more creams from another beauty box. So I'm less than five bucks and they sold for 1048 plus five in shipping. So these are only, again, only a couple dollar profit, but they help support my, my wanting cool beauty boxes. This bean pot, I should not have got. 
it was only two dollars so two dollars right well it only sold for nine so it's a five dollar profit and it does have the lid it does not have any cracks and it's going to be a pain in the butt to ship not nine dollars worth of pain in the butt i mean it's more than nine dollars worth of pain in the butt anyways but i bought it bad buy i wasn't able to look it up only sold for nine and it took almost a year five dollar profit and going to be a pain in the butt to pack so take packing into consideration when you're picking stuff up if it's breakable and not going to be that much profit i say leave it there i should have listened to myself and left this there next is a t-shirt that has been here over two years if listen if you are new to my channel or new ish this buy was amazing so i got hundreds of vintage t-shirts button-up hawaiian shirts I got some of the most amazing stuff and it was at a million dollar mansion on the water we saw some really cool sea turtles off their dock and i have a video about that so if you're newer and didn't see that video i will pop it up top i will pop it up top you need to go watch that video because it was an amazing pickup so this is an iron horse saloon this t-shirt i am less than a dollar in and it sold for her $19 so it's about a $15 profit this one is an extra large so it does go a little bit over a pound so I do ship my t-shirts that are over a pound in a padded flat rate envelope so that one took two years to sell but I was in the profit in less than a month on those and you if you go check the video out let me know that you're gonna go do that this the next one has been in my death pile I got this up in Pennsylvania with my good friend flippin fiasco Dale beautiful beautiful this one is Catherine Popesco not sure if you can see it there there you go Catherine Popesco France this one I got at a little thrift store up in Pennsylvania it was a really really fun store and the owner took us into the back we got to dig through the jewelry that is one of the items I paid five it sold for 30 in less than a week after listing it making it about a 20 22 dollar profit up next is a good license plate sale this one is a 1958 missouri truck this one sold for 35 dollars plus the buyer paid six in shipping this one sold really fast as well and it is going to be about a 28 dollar profit so all these license plates the profit is definitely adding up and we are in the profit and still have hundreds and hundreds of plates left so if you have an opportunity to buy a lot no matter what it is license plates harley pens scarves whatever the heck you find a lot of whether it's an online auction at an estate sale a yard sale i say go for it if you can buy in quantity and get those items cheap you can make a lot of money speaking of lots another harley pen this harley pen has no back so keep that in mind i did list them if they were damaged it sold for 8.91 so it's about a six dollar profit after fees and it would have been worth more if it had the back i still listed it rather than throwing it away because somebody might still want to tack it up to a board if they're a harley pin collector and it still has some value next i got these in a state sale for my good friend george the antique nomad i think i paid two dollars these sold in about four months for twelve dollars so they're about an eight dollar profit buyer did pay 11.75 in shipping they're pretty heavy they're little metal shot glasses and they are from the royal caribbean all right we've got some license plates coming up this is an ontario one this one sold for 14 so it's about a 10 dollar profit buyer again paid six in shipping and all of these are different buyers none of these are combined the next one is a illinois bicentennial plate this one sold for 12.59 i was kind of disappointed i thought that the bicentennial looked kind of cool and thought it might go for more but it's still about a nine dollar profit another twelve dollar plate this one is michigan 1962 sold for 12 so again about a nine dollar profit up next this is a really cool i think you say it waka i'm not sure i'm going to show you the bottom really cool though hand painted some of the bigger ones of these are worth hundreds of dollars so definitely keep your eye out there i can't say that name whatever that is this one is signed if you see by an artist here 
and this one sold for $20. I paid about five. So it's about a $12 profit after fees. And it did take about four to five months to sell. Again, some of the big ones of those can go for hundreds of dollars. So definitely keep your eye out for that kind of a look. The next one's a good sale and another thing that you can find lots of. And that is exactly how I got this. This is a Harley Davidson pan head iron on patch this one i paid less than two dollars it sold for 35 did take about four months to sell it was listed at the beginning with the harley pins and it is going to be about a 28 dollars profit super easy to list and ship not gonna break another harley pin the harley pins had kind of a lull and we didn't sell any and then now a bunch are selling again and to different buyers so this is a Harley Angel Wings pen. This one sold for $10.48 plus the buyer paid five in shipping. So it's about a seven to eight dollar profit. Next, this little wristlet was in a drawer that I bought at an online auction lot. So I listed it. It was actually generic, no brand, but it does have like the RFID blocking. So I put RFID floral. It has not ever been used you can see and this one sold for $10.49 so it's about an $8 profit and it actually it sold pretty fast it sold in about a month this next one's another one I picked up at the thrift store with Dale this is a really pretty unbranded Maltese cross this one sold for $32 it does have really pretty turquoise cabochon stones and sold for 32 and under a week i again paid five so this one is about a 23 to 25 dollar profit up next another harley pen like i said they're having a resurgence we didn't sell any for a long time and this weekend quite a few sold so this harley davidson shield pen sold for 17.83 so it's about a 15 dollar profit again about three to four months on that one to sell and then two plastic fsu cups I like buying these at the thrift store for like 50 cents. These two sold for seven bucks. So they're about a four to five dollar profit and they sold in under a month. They sold really fast. Football season is coming. I am a Florida Gators fan if you do not know. I am a big football fan. My husband hates it. I absolutely love it. So football is coming and I am excited. Next to Harley Davidson shirt, I picked this up at a yard sale. I paid a dollar for it this one has a stain so i only sold it for 10.48 if you see that big stain there only sold it for 10 but it's still about an eight dollar profit and it's still sold in under a month so don't think stain things won't sell they will sell but you have to you know lower your price according to the damage on your item some more license plates this one here 1936 ava new york plate sold for 13.99 making it about a ten dollar profit an indiana plate this one sold for 9.44 so it's about a seven dollar profit all of these sold really really fast i believe i showed you the other of the woodwick candles we sold two more woodwick candles i paid ten dollars i paid five each i have two they sold for 62.98 so they're about a 40 to 45 dollar profit watch for woodwick they can sell for really good money if it is a discontinued fragrance they could be really really valuable and they are not used i just wanted to show you they did melt a little bit because they were on the top shelf in the shed but the other ones were like that as well and i didn't get any complaints you can see that the wick was never burned and then we have another ontario plate this one sold for 10.49 so it's about an eight dollar profit and next buyer bought three items a good little assortment they got this scarf which i've had for a few months this one here is dumont paris and this one they also got this cool las vegas harley davidson pen and a license plate so a good mix of things the three of them they paid 32 i'm a dollar each and all of these so this order is about a 25 dollar profit all right i sold 75 of these as a lot i'm just going to show you one this is firearm news so some magazines and lots can be really valuable i got these from an online auction the starting bid was five bucks nobody else bid and a lot of 75 sold for seven or a lot of 55 a lot of 55 sold for 75 dollars so it is about a 60 to 65 dollar profit for me and what happened with these is somebody in california bought them and they did not want to pay the shipping so 
they had me weigh it i tried to get the cheapest option for them i believe it was 44 dollars to california they did not pay these magazines have been listed about a year so once i relisted them they actually sold in under a week to a florida buyer so i am going to do the same thing for them but they have already paid so i will find the cheapest shipping and if it's a ground service and i can refund them some money i will they did pay 31 in shipping which is low because they are in florida but if i can get it a little bit lower for them by going a slower service which they have said they're okay with i will just so you know magazines cannot be shipped media mail it is against policy anything with advertisement so magazines comics cannot be shipped via media mail next is this silver charger slash plate now you can see my camera set up in the reflection um this one i got less than a dollar in an online buyout ding and it sold for 12.59 it's about an eight dollar profit after fees this little thing don't don't neglect little things this cute little pot is Le Serre Paris it's a little like restaurant kind of souvenir and this one I paid less than a dollar it sold for $13.98 plus the buyer paid five in shipping it is going to be about a ten dollar profit all right last on eBay and then I'm going to show you the Poshmark and Mercari sales last on ebay is three boxes of brownies from octavia the three sold for 90 dollars again to remind you originally they're 20 dollars a box after fees i'll probably make about 10 to 15 bucks on them but glad to get them out of my pantry before they expire all right i want to say thanks real quick to miss val miss val bought two journals for me if you don't know i have really really nice floral leather bound journal notebooks they come with a pen and like a ruler all kinds of fun stuff i have them on my big cartel site for 14 dollars free shipping miss val got two and if you have missed any of my live master classes there are four available for replay right now i am not going to do a master class this week because i had several requests from people to give a discount if they bought two master classes or four so what i'm going to do is start them back in august next week and then you'll be able to get a discount on all four August master classes, or you can purchase two. So there are still master classes up on organization, buying, which that one was a really fun one, keywords, as well as shipping. And you can purchase the live replay. They are available for 30 days. So the organization one is going to drop off here in only five days. So if you're interested in that one, I would hurry. The other ones you have a little bit of time if you want to wait until you get those. And then I will be scheduling the August classes coming up later this week. And on that note, as far as scheduling, I also am going to be moving my premieres back because Dalton's starting school. He's having to go to bed earlier. I am going to move my premieres from 8.30 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday back to 7 o'clock p.m. That way I can get them bathed, get them to bed on time, and hang out with you guys and not need to worry about rushing him to bed before my premiere starts. So that will be a change. There are going to be some changes coming up because he's starting school. I haven't had a kid in school in years. My daughter is in college, but of course she drives herself there. So it's going to be really life-changing for us and you are gonna go through some changes with me because I'm gonna have to change some things that I'm doing to kind of accommodate his new school schedule all right Mercari was all license plate sales this is Michigan one sold for $14 on Mercari so it is about a $10 profit after fees and then this Ontario one sold for $9 over on Mercari as well so it's about a $7 profit and then this North Carolina BPE plate sold for $12 on Mercari. So it's about a $9, $9 profit. So all three Mercari sales we had this weekend were all license plates. So I am glad I have went back on Mercari. I have not had any issues and it is going well thus far. All right, now for Poshmark. And Poshmark had some great sales. First is this little Damascene really pretty 24 karat gold little mini picture this one sold for 37 on poshmark i'm only a couple dollars in so this is about a 25 dollars profit after fees and then this little chickadee flag also sold on poshmark this one sold for ten dollars i paid a dollar so it's about a seven dollar profit all right this next sale is a good one it was 105 dollars 
or some collector's plates. They are Pocahontas. So I don't pick up a ton of collector's plates, but Disney, I will. So there is the back of these. These are Bradford Exchange. I have a set of seven of them that sold for $105. I paid less than $5. So they're going to be about a $75 profit after fees. And I do have, I do have all of their certificates of authenticity that I'm sending out with them as well. All right, last sale. This is an EP Pro golf skirt I got for just a couple bucks and this one sold for $30 over on Poshmark. So that was a really, really great sale. So tomorrow night, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am going to be live with my co-host, the Julian Bearded Thrift, as well as special guest, Cha-Ching King Scott, who is an absolutely amazing, amazing person, as well as Ginger Marvin. Kathy and Chris haven't been on for a little while, so I'm super excited to have them on with us again. That will be live tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Wednesday, I've already recorded this video, and I think it's a good one. I am going to be showing you the top 10 reasons that I believe that people fail as resellers. And if you're struggling, watch this because it could give you some insights, maybe to some things that you might want to change to help you be a little more successful. So that was a fun video, definitely something different for me. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I appreciate you watching. I will see you tomorrow night at eight. Bye for now, guys. Say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hey, wait. Happy birthday, dear doll. Happy birthday to you. Yay. What? Did you get them all out? Good job.